Do you know what's interesting about these events? You get to see the new talent that is emerging and one of those names that have just really just blown doors down in this event, Ethan Ewing, double duty, juniors, WKS 10,000. It doesn't matter for this guy. He's just charging through everything that he surfs in. Yeah, he is, Kipes. What do you think about him? I like the kid. I think he's light on his feet. I think he's a great surfer. We're going to take a look at some of this stuff. He's got great technique. He makes good decisions. He's consistent. The flow's great. And uh, so I, I'm a fan of Ethan Ewing. So this is him in his, in his uh, junior, junior heat. heat, right? So he was up against a bunch of other guys here that, you know, the waves a real challenge this day, obviously. And I'll agree with you. He's got really good competitive savvy. That is a definite. Here he is right here. He's got a good style. I do. He's got almost Andy S style, that little bit of a yeah. bottom turn there, the arm up, that back arm is just like Andy used to hold it. So, I, you know, he's got my vote there. There's Instagram. But he's, he's definitely, you know, turning some heads on the junior world. He's on the top of the Australasia ratings right now for the juniors ratings. So he's definitely made a mark throughout that whole entire world, and he's making one here as well. Yeah, definitely. It'd be interesting to find out who his influences are. I mean, 17 years old, and he's got such a mature style. You mentioned the way that he carries himself. But then, not just competing in the juniors, not just making light work of that. I mean, he's number one on the Australi Australasia junior rankings. So he's used to being hot up there, ranked way up. And we think about the crop of juniors that are coming through. So that competition is so fierce. That's where he's kind of honed his skills. Yeah, well, look out, look out, because <laughs> look out, because <laughs> David Silva went down today, who was number four on the QS ratings, right? He's yeah. number six, okay? So he could take the lead in the whole qualify series ratings on this at this event. We'll see how the math plays out, Strider, but that's why I told you, watch this kid. You better watch out. Huh? Well, I, you know what? I've been watching him. I think he's a great surfer. Here it is right here. This is in the main event right here, okay? This is all main event surfing. He's got a great flow and, you know, just banking away right there. Beautiful up into the bowl surfing. For me, the judges have really been giving this kid big scores. I mean, bigger than I think are warranted. So for me, he is the judge's cat's meow right now. And, you know, I'm not saying that he's not surfing great because he is. He's got a great flow, he's got a great style, and he's got great competitive savvy. Uh, and the conditions out here don't really get to showcase exactly how good of a surfer you are. Everybody's got to play in the same sandbox, and he's playing, you know, one of, as one of the best right now. Yeah, I mean. He, the power, all this stuff, he's got the flow, all that power is going to come with maturity. But right now, just look at the technique is what my eye is seeing right here. And the Andy Irons reference that you made, Strider, I believe is spot on in the small stuff. We haven't seen him in the big stuff yet. Yeah, he's going to have to come around the corner. He's going to have to do the rest of those events, uh, the big 10,000s uh, over in Hawaii. So we'll, we'll, hopefully the waves are pumping and we get to see him in the big stuff. Well, boys, answer this question for me. He is sitting six on the rankings at the moment. We know that the top 10 on the qualifying series advance into the big leagues, the World Championship Tour. I know that Taj Burrow, he qualified in his first year. He decided to decline that invitation to the big leagues and wait for his surfing to mature. 17 years old, if Ethan qualifies at the end of this year in that top 10, do you think he'll take that opportunity? I think so. I think he's already hanging out with all those guys. He's got, uh, you know, the pit crew, all that whole Australian uh, crew that they're hanging out with. You know, Ox is up there as the senior guy. You can see him kind of stepping into a coaching role. He's got his manager already set up. He's got all the other guys there along with him. I mean, he's got a, a great support crew, and, and for him to back out would, I don't, just, that wouldn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense. I mean, I know it's been mentioned, but the talent pool is way too deep right now to let go of an opportunity well, like that. Papo, do you think he's surprised at the position that he's in at the moment? I mean, six on the rating. Do you think he planned for this to happen? I think he did. I honestly think that he did. I mean, I think winners plan on winning, and that's what they do. And guys who come from a big amateur or junior career, and they're used to winning a lot of contests, win a winning contest gets you hungry to win more. 